Okay, yes. so let's see. Uh, how do we do events? Yeah, so I was taking a Can... look on the library that we are using, like JavaScript yeah. and Camel. Mm -hmm. and oh, it has. We do have this keyboard like, event DOM HTML, which does have keyboard mm -hmm. event. Why is it on DOM, man? No, I don't know. I, I was just looking, like looking around. <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't make sense to be in there. But, no, but we okay. have a bunch, man. Like we have, a, for instance, like my original plan is to do the following: we do a while true, do, mm. then we're gonna do and here, okay. and something is wrong. Done actually. Oh yeah. It's done. And then here, we're going to do the keyboard events, basically. So okay. I was thinking about something like key, and then it's going to be a reference because you're going to be possibly changing the key, right? Yeah. And then we, I was thinking about doing, like, Nathan did some, like, alias in, on here. Okay. We already get... Uh, so you do, like, HTML, and then we have two guys with key. We e have keyboard code. event, keyboard code, and keyboard key. And we also have non capital, uh, okay. which is this. Is keyboard event a type? Probably there is. Yes, it's a type. So that probably has a method. Go, go inside dot. So those. Let's see. Oh, and by the way, this, is, this can go forever. Yeah, it's just LSP broken, actually. Okay. Makes you see sense. the Unix there? No, I'll do it again. No, 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 yeah. Look there. There is Unix. Go down. Tender lib. Unix. <laughs> like, it doesn't make sense, man. This is broken. Okay. Good but anyway. Uh, I think this is not what we're looking for. Yeah, we have another keyboard. Because so, this key. is what it returns. So, oh, there is another keyboard event. Yeah, which... Oh, this one is a constructor. Check that one. Yeah, but we need to pass something to here. Probably, what are the things? Let me see. Uh, it's a JS type. Hack defense. Let me check here, man. Because I don't know how this library works. JS of Volcano. Uh, keyboard. Good, no documentation at all. Yeah, no, we are basically type here. Only with types, we don't have anything else. What's the type of this? Ah. Okay, so it picks. Uh, because if you look here, like get element by ID. It, you, how I is, know. Oh man, I think it makes sense because I remember that in JavaScript you, may, you have to make like a. Uh, I think that, that is like a loop, so it's like a, I think they call listener, something like this. That you need to attach an event. Do you remember that in Fable, you have to do this sometimes with something? Not at all. You need to I pass a function that keeps handling. Events. Yeah, events whatsoever in Fable. I think it, it, that's why it makes sense, because I remember, try, uh, try event, see if you have like event listener, something like this. Uh, document, for example, HTML, yeah. Add event listener, that one. Go back. Yes, this. Alright, so with this, in JS, let me look at the docs here. I don't remember what are the parameters, but I remember one of them is a function. One of them is a oh, function. Yeah, the first one is a, is a function, totally. It's a function oh, it's from just event one function. target to... Uh... So isn't this function HTML keyboard event? Wait a second. No, that's the type. No, but no, wait, but I didn't read the annotation. The annotation of this thing is weird. What the heck? It's a JST for to DOM event type of a B. It's and... ginormous, basically. Oh, and what the heck? <laughs> Alright. So let me look at the docs here. Let me see. Uh...
you need an event target to DOM event type. Here. Mm -hmm. So the first one is a string, which is the key down is using key press. So I think okay. this is the kind of, yeah, this is the kind of event we are interested with. So it's the action of doing something with the key, which is like pressing the key down, uh, keeping the key pressed, uh, releasing the key. So those are events. So we want the key keep down. Yeah, just the key down. No, there is a, there is a thing, man. Here. Oh yeah. Uh, let's put arrow down. Is this what you want? That's what we want, because it's basically it's basically like the first thing is a key down, which is a string, and then the second is the event properly said. String. Okay, so I and then your key down. And then the event is an argument of a lambda. That basically uh, Can you he's send just the link doing. Of that? Yeah, let me paste it here. <sighs> we are almost there. And I, and I prepared the uh, well, I, I prepared the thing just... Uh, to to just works. It's gonna just gonna work. What the heck? I have no idea how tired I am, man. There. Oh, so this is the JavaScript way. Yeah. We are trying to. Oh, we are trying to. Do the conversion without documentation at all. Uh huh. Uh, so we have key down, and then we have a lambda with an event to get the event code. Okay, so we need to find this those? key down, whatever. Yeah. So the it's first thing is an event target. So we need to find. Yeah, what try that is. HTML dot event target. Event target. Mm hmm. Um, no, no. What is this? Contents. By the way? Oh, this is a function. This is a function that receives an event. So event. This is a type probably. Contents. Oops. Contents. Yeah, this is <laughs> this is another <laughs> thing that goes forever. Yeah. Okay, so go back. No, but th there is another event thing. R oh, there's event there, listener. but it's a type. Uh, yeah, try this. What is the type? Nothing. Weak. <laughs> Under fifty. This is the this is the generic, by the way. Yeah. You said there is a, a one that is a type. I'm interested in that. Event down there. Type event. The fourth. Oops. Fourth. Here? No, one more. Down. Here. This. Contents. Wait, but this is the function mm -hmm. that picks an event and returns an element. Hmm. That's interesting. Which is the same type as JST, which is the first thing that Keyboard he needs. Keyboard event. Huh. Okay, so LSP is broken is breaking because of this, so let's remove this. Okay. Now this is returning an HTML element and this needs an event target. What is the type of this? I don't know. Okay. Uh, wrapping up parentheses. Before that, oh, this is an event target indeed. Nice. Okay. So the first one, nice. Now we have Wait. all the other ones. Unbound value keyboard event. Yeah, unbound value keyboard. Oh, this thing takes a type. Uh, it takes a type. What? Inused variable event. What we want then? I don't HTML, know, man. This is this is very confusing. Keyboard key of event. Of event. What's the type of this? No, but it, that converts an event into a key, I think. Oh. Okay, so we don't want this. We want code. Okay, what's the, what's key this? Key code. Of key code. Oh, this is... 
Isn't it it? What's this? Oh no. It's an int to a keyboard code. Yeah, it's probably like a ASCII. Okay, we want, I think it's 109. Let's do this. What is the type of this now? Yay. I, I told you guys, JavaScript will be necessary. I told you. Disgusting. In jQuery, this would be very easy. <laughs> I get to say, Nathan says this all the time. Uh, we need a keyboard event. Let's put in also here. Oh, I was trying this before. Okay, so let's remove this in. You need the final expression of the link. Also. Oh, I need a final. Yeah, just no, no, no. After the ins, just do like I don't know. You need. Okay. Okay, so we need to fix this unbound value. What exactly does this mean? What is an unbound value? But I don't know. This is weird to me. This Let me weird. look here. How do we add an event listener? Let me look at the documentation of this. I don't think you need a, for a while, by the way, for that. Oh, here it is. Somebody had this already done. Oh, JS of a camel? Yes. I have a div in JS, blah, blah. I have heard blah, blah. I was thinking about the same questions, blah, blah. Hmm. Look at this example here. Send on the chat. Okay, we don't have examples at all. Nice. There. Wait, this all works? All mouths on. Well, it's a response on Stack Overflow, so. <laughs> What's... What's this? I. What the fuck, oh, come on. This is the LSP, though. No, but you didn't... Uh, the, the, this code is incomplete. Yeah, no, I know it's incomplete. Use LSP. There's a three dots. <laughs> <laughs> There's the three dots, yeah. <laughs> so we have like, an element. Yeah. You have a move, a stop, and a click. And then mouse down. We don't want a mouse down. We want a key a key down. You got it from somewhere else. Let's see. Okay, the documentation doesn't have any oh, any examples at all. JS of uh, camo and quite... event listener. Oh, this is the one that you sent. Oh, uh, here I sent the link on the GitHub. Yeah, it is There's the an example there, but it's a big one. Hmm. Oh, here it is. Oh, you see? You see? Um, uh, okay, so just copy that crap. Yeah, okay, so the first thing that we need to do is contracts you. We're gonna do HTML document here. Then we put the type of event that we want, which is a keyboard event in this case, I guess. Let's try, what the? What the crap? You opened the Emacs tutorial for some reason. I didn't do that, man. But okay. <laughs> uh, main.ml, okay. So HTML, event. Uh, what about key? Key down. Key press, hey, key it. up. Key press. Uh, key down. Because key press is when you keep the key pressed. Oh, okay. 
basically. So it's a key down. Yeah. Now, what is the final thing? The final thing is a handler, which I sincerely doesn't and uh, sincerely don't know what to do then. A handler, you get oh man, it's the lambda. You see that you get a fun ev. That is the event. Okay, so we're gonna do HTML handler. Okay, we, we do have a handler, and then we're gonna do a mm -hmm. ev no. Okay, so it's arrow in here. What is that with this? Are you keeping the keyboard event in the last one? No, I'm not. Okay. So this is a keyboard event, right? Oh. We're gonna do Eve dot. We want just the key now. How do we yeah. get the key? Uh, check the type of this. It is correct, right? It is keyboard event. How is the guy accessing it on the... He, in his case of a mouse move, this oh, is probably okay, like a mouse move. Oh, that's why. That's why. You see the double hashtag? Yeah. Yeah, it's so add that crap. What is this, by the way? Uh, you know, Como, you had a hashtag to access uh, methods from a class, oh. from an object. So this is an object. But like... Yeah, but it, it is double hashtag in that case. So I think it's just about the something that they are doing with the PPX garbage. Or just the transpiler. I, I don't know, man. No idea. Yeah, but how do we access the LSP with this? Well, we don't. It's failing. The LSP doesn't work on that. It yeah. wasn't working with Natal on Visual Studio as well. Yeah, but how are we so going to discover... Oh, JS docs. Oh, okay. Key... Get key value Let's for search key like keyboard down event. event. JS. Let's search Mozilla okay. keyboard event. JS. Oh, event key code. key code. Okay, so it's gonna be key code. Dot. Dot what? I think dot. Dot key code, I think. Like this? No, no, no. Double hashtag dot key code, I think. This expression has type. Look at this type, man. <laughs> Not even looking at this point. <laughs> Look at the type. It's awesome. Look at the type. It's all JS in the down down there, man. So it worth it. It's it is it is JS, man. Yeah. So yeah. that's tragic. Okay, so it's key apparently. There's also key. And yeah. And in that case, we don't need a while, I think. You wrong. Dot key, don't forget the dot. No, I tried with both. No, dude, this thing will always fail. The LSP is not working on that garbage. You just oh, ignore that. Oh, you just ignore it. Yes. Oh man, I don't have the shortcuts to make the eliminate this fast, but okay. Okay. So now this needs to be oh this doesn't need to be a ra a half then. Isn't it key code or just key? What is that? Let's try both. Key code. Try to print that first. Okay, so I can't print, man. Because the print you is can. retarded in here. Oh, yeah, the print is retarded. Uh, probably. Mm -mm. Uh, the event listener throws a random garbage, right? Yeah, the type of this is. Nothing. Oh, no, well, let me yeah. remove this. Okay, what's the type of this? Okay, it's a boolean? It is a boolean? What the crap? True? Mm, is this how you do true? Do the, f do the following. Uh, no, no, it receives a boolean now it's and true. it speeds. Now it's correct. Yeah. And then LSP it totally broke. And it speeds that thing. Okay, so we're gonna. Oh, but this is, this is an ID. Maybe On the key like code, a... do the following. Cast that thing to a string and print. Because it doesn't have a type. This crap. Oh. Like, do a comma. No, no, there, there. Inside the lambda. Oh, inside the lambda. Yeah. Print, string. It doesn't have a type anyway, so who cares. EV? 
Yeah. Uh, but do it bef... Yeah, okay. That's fine. You think this is fine? No, I would say print the key code inside the EV, not EV. But that's fine. I think that's okay. Well, it's not fine, but it, I think it should work. Try to save and compile. I doubt it. Because it's Yay. transpiling, man, so... Yeah, look at this type! <laughs> Oh, hey, it's a JST. Type JS print console log, see if you have that crap. Um, GS. So. No. Log. Uh, but wait, I'm doing something wrong because I think it should be HTML dot. No, no, it should be in JS, man. That's from JS. Yeah, but the oh, console okay. log it is from JS. It's not from document, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah okay. I, Try I print. So JS of camel. No. We have also GS. Maybe that's the one. Let's try Don't GS. What do you think? Yeah. Same thing, the, the other. Same Try thing. print. Instead of com. No. Parsint, no. A log. Also no. The heck, man. Why didn't they add that? Location origin. Whenever I, I do something with JavaScript, I always remind myself of Richard Stallman and the actual <laughs> JS, the JS trap. Uh... And he basically talks about how JavaScript is dominating the world and making the world an unsafer and less privacy oriented place. Uh... I don't even know how to print. Let me. I mean, let's stop losing time with this crap. Let's do. Jess of Ocomo print console log. How do I console log? Blah, blah. Oh, okay. Uh, there is a thing. Firebug. What the crap? What is that? Yes. Don't don't ask me. I think it's on Jess of Ocomo. Firebug. Firebug. And then double hashtag dot no just double hashtag and no sorry dot console without the double hashtag dot console there it is and then double hashtag and log and then you put the crap there. Yeah. Like this? Yes, and then you pass the F. How beautiful. Yes. Yeah, beautiful. Are you sure? I'm doing something wrong, I guess. Uh, this type is expected to be bull. What? What the fuck? It's not there that is the problem. Oh, wait, the log is from float to float? What? This is all screwed up, man. It's understanding it to be a logarithm. Oh, okay. Not log. But it's just LSP. The LSP is pain, he's suffering pain. Yeah, same thing. This expression was has type unit, but in an expression was expected to have type bool. This lambda should be returning oh, a bool. Okay, it should return a bool like this. Yeah, but that doesn't make sense to me. Oh, there is a js dot dot underscore true. Right that the guy does that in the end. JS, JS. dot uh, capital letter on the J. JS underscore. No, JS dot underscore true. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is disgusting. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, <laughs> look at this. This expression uh, has type. Oh, now we are reaching that we we can't. Uh, print the EV. We need to you need to use oh key code here. So maybe you need to do like this. 
So instead of EV, we're gonna do hashtag hashtag dot uh, key code. No, same thing. Yeah, this expression has type. Boom. But it was expected to have something else. It has type document JST, but it was expected to have. And it's a listener. Ah, man, I, I hate this like postfix thing of ML. Uh, that in that regard, F sharp did well. Like we this have, postfix yeah, is, identity. This thing has type this. And what the? Wait, I'm confused. Wait. The same thing. The point is. Like, look in the inner code, it's the same thing, but look at there, the button yeah. expression. This expect is okay, this... but this is not okay. Yes, but the rest is the same. I think the type... The rest seems Actually, to be the no. same. Yeah, it's the same curve. Yeah, so if we discover how to get these other two, we are, we, we are good. What is the type of event? What is the type of this? Oh, no. Isn't it? Okay, no, this is the inner crap. This is the inner crap, which is okay. What, did it, what is not okay at all is something that goes before that. In my opinion, doing this in Okama was a waste. We could have done this in, I don't know, Elm would be better. Because it already has support for a browser. I agree. Anyway, uh, we are so, too close to say that now. Uh, this expression is it's marking only the, in the this one, so everything else is not related. So it needs to be this. What is the type of handler, by the way? Handler. Oh. Okay, so here it is. We Smart. need to return. Wait, where is the guy's code? Oh, here, GS true, and there's also another JS true. GS true. true. The... Yeah. No, but I think this true is for, is for the listener. Yeah. And this true is for the handler, which is what we yes. want. Yes, it's the final result of the handler. Yeah, so maybe I need to put this. So let me check. This shouldn't affect, but anyway. Also, after the end of the thing, add a stop propagation event. Like HML dot after the JS true. Okay. No, before the JS. Okay, didn't uh, work. Before the JS true, you mean? No, before, before the JS true. This. Yeah, add another expression, comma. Uh, can we do like, yeah. Okay, GS. It's a bell, actually. Stop, Stop propagation. propagation and then pass the EV. Why do you want to do this? I don't know, but that the name is in, the name seems fine. Yeah, it it is the same error, I guess. This expression was expected to have type, but it has type. Yeah, it didn't change at all. It's unreadable, actually. This is like a JSAST. Of this 92 point. to 95. Yeah, it is this man. No, ignore, ignore this inner thing. Ignore this. Just ignore it. Go oh, back. Everything is called. Let's type. Which is, can what you is copy, really weird? What? Can you copy his event listener? Here? And copy this C1 in his code. Oh, you mean here? Yeah, entirely. Copy, copy this C1. Yeah. Comment hours. Um, 
in and comment this out. Let's remove this noise in the middle. Yeah. Just try to print the... Oh, let's see if this compiles first. Oh, but I think we need to assign that to a div to actually make... Oh, a bunch of no, a bunch of not used, but a used variable. Yeah, okay, but it works. Okay, so here's how the handler will work. Go back to his code. Oh man, that sucks. Uh, no, go look up. Like three hundred ninety-two. Yeah, 92. I think it's ninety-two. Three hundred ninety-two. Okay. No, no, eighty-two. Sorry. I wasn't looking. Okay. No, 62. Oh, man, 62? What? <laughs> no, wait, I'm confused. 54? No. Dude, where's the C, C problem? The C thing? Go up. Oh, here. Uh, Is that it? Yeah. No, man. Wait, let me look in mine here. Line. Oh, 303. Here. So it is basically showing a HTTP HTML handler, and then there's an event. You see, that is part of the element. All miles down. So that what what does that give me? Uh, is that we need to attach this thing to an HTML object? You see? Yeah, but how are we gonna do that? I don't know. That's a longer question. That's a question. Wait, 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 wait. Why can't we just see use this example, man? Because this example is exactly in an event listener, but instead of mouse up, we want to key down. That's it. Do we? Sorry? That's what I'm doing. No, no, no. What we are doing is not what, you, what I understood of what you said. Because what I, what I said is, said why don't you to... copy this, but we try to set this thing to an element that we don't know which one it is. Because it's just accessing the element, element. but the, the element, I think we can get it via the document get element by ID. I don't, I'm not understanding. Anything. Okay, but give, give me instructions. What Look at I... the function. Look, go up, go up. I'll show you. Look at the function. Do you see the arguments? Yeah. What is the first one? Element. So I think this is the that's ID. An, that's an, the no, itself? that's an HTML element yeah. already. So he's basically just passing some garbage to attach a handler to that crap, which is the own miles down. So what I'm saying is we if and do something like get a, a document dot get element by ID. We get the element by the ID, feed that function, and then this function is the handler. And then you can just copy. You just change the mouse handler and such. Okay, we can try to do that. But before doing that, I just want to copy this and see what happens. Nothing. Why? Because this is bound to an element, man. This is bound to an action. This is an event listener. If you're not passing any event, then nothing will happen. So you want me to copy all of this? Yeah. Doesn't this guy have like handle? A smaller key example. Down? I don't know. Search. Try searching on the thing. I didn't key. look for that. Oh, here. Key down. There's one. Let me see. Show information. Not? Yeah, but just focus on the thing. There's it is a lot of small. It is thing. this. And the JS sum. What is that C? That C, C is, is a ref JS new. Awesome. <laughs> I love it. Beautiful. That's what I'm talking about, friends. That's the future. Okay, but look at the crap he's doing. He's defining a document, then he creates a div, which is the text, and then he just assigns crap to it because that's a mutable garbage. Where is the div, man? Uh, 1,444. 
and then uh, he just uh, assigns like js string text js string 89 percent i don't know yeah no he's, doing a, bunch of stuff. he's doing a bunch of stuff so he's basically appending that event to the c what is c the c, c is, a is... GS new. yes where is that thing being oh, used dude, he's doing something with that later right no. Yeah, no. Oh, no. This is disgusting. Look at the close info. Oh, man. I hate immutability. I hate mutability. Why do people do this with their lives? Look at that. <laughs> yes, that's function. Close info. Look yeah. at that function. Yeah, I see this. It, you see the C? You see the C? Yeah, but uh, this is weird because in the... Oh, he's calling this in the event then. Yes. But it, it, this is... Like, the event is inside C, and the event calls C itself. I have no idea what he's doing. Yeah, I, I guess. <laughs> anyway, but l let's do something. I have an idea. Let's copy all of this. Let's copy this. Um, and my idea is, instead of calling draw inf uh, close info, we're going to call the drawing function. Dude, how's the guy in that video handling Zoom? I he, don't know how to handle Zoom. He is he's doing something really stupid. We, not stupid. We, it's simple, but we are stupid, so we don't know simple stuff. Which is the following. He's a, adjusting the the calculation of the pixels instead of because you remember that we are like we are shifting the the this to this sphere to this circle. Sorry. Yeah. And then he's doing that, but he's also considering the center. And the center is what changes when you press a key and the scale itself. Okay. So he's basically saying if you press the, the like when you press the arrows, when you press the arrows or the plus or the minus, we're going to change or the center or the scale. And there there mm -hmm. is a piece of code that where he is doing that uh, here, you see. So if you press the left arrow, He's changing the center by this amount. And if you're pressing plus and minus here, if you are pre I think this is plus, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, this is the num the, the plus in the numpad and 187 is the plus in the normal layout. And then if you press that, he's changing the scale and this is the minus. See? This looks very painful. No, no, it's not painful if you have the ability to control keyboard events. No, yeah, that part is very painful. Uh, so when we achieve this point of like having a way to identify which key is pressed, then we can... I already set these guys. Scale, center Y, center X. Okay, let's do the following then. Make a div. Oh, man. Can you do no, but that we have an HTML page? element already. We have the canvas, man. Okay, but the canvas is for drawing. Yeah, the canvas is for drawing. So we, we can make a div. So let's make a div. You're too stressed out, man. Relax. Relax. I, I, it's like um, it's JavaScript, man. It's fine. Uh, it's not the best, definitely not the best, but it's, it is what it is. Okay, until Can't you, here. No, copy a little bit down, copy more. More. You can see the button. Yeah. Yeah, copy there. Oh man, just copy the button. You want the, the thing to be inside a button? No. Yeah, dude, just make a button. Let's just take a print so we know that our keys are working and everything before we start doing the crap. Okay, so let's create a button. But we you need see? a dock anyway. So let me pick the dock. Yeah. Just just to start small with the garbage. Okay. <sighs> so first things first is to have a dock. Okay. After having a dock, we're going to create a button. Which is this. Then you also need the close info. No, we're going to remove the close info. That's not necessary for now. I don't even know what that's doing. JS false. 
Okay, and then button click. We're gonna just print hello. Print. Yeah. String. And line. New line. Yeah. Okay. This hello. Is gonna be hello. Hello. And we're also gonna have in line here. Uh, new line. Uh, yeah, that that's fine. And line print. No, no, that's fine. And we can just remove everything else. Yeah, the C1 you can remove. And this. Why is it failing? Uh, I don't know why it's failing, by the way. Is this, is this everything inside the let? No. What is this in your camel, by the way? Assignment. Okay. This is assigning a null, uh, mutable so shit. Oh, there is no in in here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now we need to discover what are those. What is opt style? Opt style. Well, we don't know, but we know that we need it. I read the finding and scrap in the middle of the way. Can I see it again? Opt style. Opt style again. Probably a function from the library. Yeah, it really seems to be a function of the library. So let's go to button. Here it is. Okay, let's go back here. Save this scrap. Go here. Build. Hello, Almost there. The space, right? Unbound the value space. opt style. Yeah, just search for the namespace. What do you mean, the namespace? Well, opt style should be inside the namespace. What is the namespace? Just try like JS, whatever, man. Oh, you mean? It, yeah, because he probably imported like uh, some garbage up there that you don't have. So try to do, yeah. Let's try to find it. We can just or see the can, guys in yeah, right? we can. Yeah, we can do a look at the library, man. The lib, the documentation. Oh, here. Oh, it's actually a define it function. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so. Space I don't even here. see the reason for that, but that's fine. Now, just just swap messages is wrong because things. No. Unbound value messages. So, I guess. What is messages? Messages. Oh no. Oh, it's a class. It's Ugh. a class. Let me see. What, what is this doing do? again? Append button doc create text node messages. Look at the append child. What does the append child needs? It's expre behave the same as this, but avoid the need he, of. He needs a node and another node. Okay, it's just creating the the string for the button. Oh man, that's Can too much just complicated. Remove this? Yeah, that seems too much complicated just for. Yeah, but now that. it's not type checking at all. But we don't care about that, right? So no, we care. Okay, we care. This expression has type this, but an expression was expected to have type. What this. does create text node uh, expects? You can see, or can you? It express it expects a string. So instead, yeah. just pass a string or wait. Oh, it's because these. Uh, oh, just pass a string. Yeah, you're right. Hmm. We don't need styling. Who needs styling? We don't care. It's gonna provide a warning or an error. Yeah. Okay. So oh, I that's... need to. I don't know. Let's remove the canvas for now. Holy! So npmx. Oh, here it is. npx. Okay. And it's gone. Wait. Completely gone. By the way. Did we remove the the drawing? Where's yes, the function? Yes. No, we removed the drawing. Oh, just wait, but the button is also not showing. The button is not showing at all. The oh, we're button. not placing the button, I think. Yeah, we're not placing the button in the document. I because think we are, like, 
what I think, no, we are not. Because you know what I think is weird? You see the HTML document? That's not the same HTML document that we already have. We should get the document that we have in the page. Or is that just an alias? What is that crap? I have no clue. How we were doing this before? And another thing, are we appending? We are appending. Need to... I didn't... Okay, so it's a let in, a bunch of let ins and then a four, double four. Interesting. So what we need to do... What we need to do... You see this? Coerce to canvas? Is this creating this a canvas? Casting. casting, yeah. Yeah, this is creating a canvas. Guess is this the way you do? Yeah, it seems to be. Uh, I think it should be something like this, don't? I don't think so. It's, re it's returning a... What's the type of this? Dude, where, where is it assigning? Doc. It's not, man. Oh, Dude, look down there. Oh, no, man. Look down there. It's this. Go down there. Go down there, please. Wait, 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 wait. Where is it assigning to document Here. that the button is a shield? Where? It's creating a button inside Create the document. Button. Why not? But what gives you the guarantee that this is the document? Does the library get no, the document? No, I'm creating one here. But there is already a document in the page, which is the HTML. Or is this thing like just getting the document? No, I think this I is creating a document. Works. I have no idea how this works. Wait, I have an idea, man. Relax. This... Uh, you see how Natal is has doing this? Do we do have like few rect and then few style. Yeah, that's part of the canvas. Yeah, so I think There's we need to do the same in here. Button. Like a get something. Dude, that has nothing to do with the context. No, it is, man. Because this is how Dude, we that's are... that's part of the canvas. No, man. Forget the canvas. The canvas is just an HTML element. Doesn't, doesn't, we don't care. No, just... the canvas is a special HTML element. No, it can be special. Any... I'm not saying it, can, it can't be. I'm just saying that maybe what we need to do to show the document that the button is in is to do some sort of this. Like some sort of get context which i yeah that get context because then you can do this that's my point i don't think so but go on okay so let's do get context uh, but get context uh, it is 2d something right 2D for the... This is the canvas specific, I guess. Or not. It's the dome HTML. What's your idea, man? I'm just thinking, like, if I were to do that in normal JavaScript, it would be just, like, get the element, append the garbage, and that's it. Like, you don't need to create, uh, like, a context and... Like that thing that you have in the canvas. To me, that seems very specific to the canvas. You, you think that like, only instantiating the doc? Yeah, the doc just a painting. Right like that should work. Yeah, pen child. Because those are functions from document. From the, the, from the DOM. Interesting. Like if you go to the browser and do that, you will see a button showing up. Like let me do it here. Let me try been ages since I did anything in JavaScript. I, I never wanted to go back in the <laughs> union. Matches values of the p but the pattern was expected. Here, document dot get hmm. doc append child here. I think it was document. Where is the crap? Document create 
element and then I don't know a button Okay, I have an A garbage, which is a button. So I can do probably um, text. No, oh, here. Ha ha. Yeah. Ha 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 ha. See? And what did you do? So, okay, so I was reading this and I saw this last line here. Bend bunny. Overlay. Yeah, but what the overlay is just another HTML element. So, what I did is doc dom append child doc body button and then the yeah. button appeared. Oh, okay, so you are, you need to attach to the body of the document. That makes yes. sense. Yes. Okay, so we know how to do mm -hmm. something. <laughs> uh, is that printing? Can you see if it's printing? Printing... Oh, On the console log. Yeah, let's, let's see. Yeah. Console. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. So, let's see. Uh, how to add? Let's see if we can capture the key, like uh, with the key wait, press. Wait, 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 wait! Before doing that, can we add like the the canvas here? Doc. And I think. Body. And this is gonna be. I draw don't think. Canvas. I don't know if the body accept the the document accepts many children. Oh. I think it's just one. But try. Let's see. Okay, so this expression was expecting something else. What is the type of draw, by the way? It is unit, which is bad. Yeah, you, yeah, you just ran unit. No, 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 no. That's kind of oh, that's kind of okay. because now we need to do draw canvas here, and then the canvas itself needs to be here, like this. Is it modifying like canvas in place? Let's see what happens. Okay. And go. It's doing something. Okay, right, we have there this. Is. Is the and button we have a gone? button here. No, it is. Ha -ha! Right. Click on that. Click. Okay. So let's try to make. Just add two buttons. The key. Plus and. Oh, we also need. No, the key. The key... Oh, no, man. <laughs> Oh no. Yeah, if we're gonna do by keys, like we don't need the button. Like we... uh... Actually we could make instead of keys we can make a button of left, right, and plus no, and minus. No, but that's minus. too many too many buttons. I I what about two buttons? Like plus and minus to do zoom. Oh man, who cares, dude? And cares. the arrows we use the arrows in the keyboard. Who cares for user experience, man? <laughs> no 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 no. Who cares? <laughs> who cares? What are you talking about? Who cares for user experience, man? No, 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 no. Uh, okay, so this is going to be the button plus. 
I'm gonna have come on, come on, just start up mentality. Just just finish this. No man. You are you are the only one that accepts any garbage, man. I'm not one of those. Accept any garbage to finish this because I didn't want to do this in the first place. Yeah, because you were a bad you were a, uh, you were, you were a bad decision maker. That's why. Yes. No, I'm not a bad decision maker. Man, dude. Uh, I think <laughs> choose opting JS to do this was a bad decision for Nata, and I, I, I signed on that. <laughs> that was a bad decision making. Uh, minus HTML, create button, lock in. Uh, Would be like a, a given in any plotting garbage. We could have done this in MATLAB. No, MATLAB, no, man. No MATLAB. Uh, minus. Just relax. You are too stressed out, man. I don't understand. Yeah, I am. Man. I stayed my entire day debugging cold. Yeah. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> oh, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> the that bugging. Is, that needs to be awesome, oh, you, man. you you remove the uh, uh, hashtag. Oh, okay. Now I see. I stayed my entire day debugging why a C sharp code was breaking. Amazing. How oh, nice. It's the future. Okay, so uh, scale equals scale times 0 0.5 in the. Wait. This needs to be wrong. As you can see, now we. This needs to be wrong. Can we agree that this needs to be wrong? What about we just ignore the scale first and let's try to capture the events, man? Okay, let's try. Because that. how how are you gonna do capturing the events of keyboard? We have the guy keyboard event. No, not keyboard. Key down. So there, it yeah, it has there. Okay. Yeah, here. Yeah, so we need to understand what is C doing, right? It's a ref note. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but oh, how no. is this interacting with doc? That's the, my question. I have no idea, man. Everything is mutable. Things are just splattered. We need a way to discover that. Oh, when you press the key, man, we are removing something from the dock. That's what the guy is doing. Uh, uh... Okay, so it's he's just calling a function, right? Yeah. To handle so... something. Okay. Let's. Okay, so it can be detached. It can be detached, right? What do you mean by detached? Like the C is unknown. So it can be detached. Like uh, the, the C is a JS ref. No. <laughs> <laughs> so it can Which be totally detached. By the from, way. Yeah. <laughs> so I think the C is just to hold. Yeah. Keyboard of, yeah. The name like that. Oh, this is disgusting. I think this is the, by far the most disgusting combo code I've seen. <laughs> it's fine, man. It's really fine. Uh, I'm surprised how verbose it is. But aside from that... Okay. This is, but this is what I don't understand. This... Like, let's just stop for a second. Can we agree that you're pressing four different keys and you're doing the same thing? Let me see. If you're pressing the key down, he's basically multiplying. Yeah, he's what? dividing by half. The scale. But my, my question really? is... Do we, can you agree that you're pressing four yeah, different keys see. and you're doing this all the same thing? But that's... Yeah, it's on those two, I agree. But what he's doing above? This needs to be wrong, man. This doesn't make any no, sense go, to me. Go back, go back, go back, go back in the video. I think he does something above. No, he does. You, he, you this is the part that we're gonna... Oh, this is the yeah, error there. part. So he's just changing on the left an arrow and the right we draw arrow, our right? But Mandelbrot. that's it. Yeah, no, this is easy. This is the easy part. I'm, under, I'm not understanding the scale part. But anyway, so... Yeah, the scale is literally just halving. Like, there is nothing... No, 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 this is... N yeah, but you're doing that if you're pressing plus and minus. That doesn't make sense. 
Yeah, but depends on how he's using those. No, it those, doesn't make sense at uh, all, man. But, uh, we're going to change this later. Just, just do the arrows first. So the arrows. What are the codes for the arrows? Oh, here it is. So we have uh, left arrow uh, up. So it's 37 to 40. Okay, so let's go back here. So if you have 37, what you're going to do is... Uh, left arrow which the mathematics is the minus uh one slash two times the scale okay so let's do that so it's going to be center x is equal to center x um times times one divided 1.0 one dot uh uh, uh divided you by... You forgot the dot in the multiplication. I forgot the dot. Divided it's by two time. times this uh, uh, ratio. I changed the name because it, scale is a function in OCaml. Uh, and then you do this. Okay, what are you complaining now? This expression has type a... float, but it was expected to, to, to do something else. What are you uh, talking about? Scale, by the way, is a function we defined, I think. Isn't it the oh, ref? Oh, it is here. Yeah, we define the scale. Anyway, ratio is, is almost the same. Now we need to understand the zero. This expression has type the float. Is... But I expect it to have a, type a... a whatever. Oh, I add a ref to this garbage. But what? What? That's weird. What is the type of this? Ref to this garbage. Oh, yes, add a ref there. And this also. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that... <laughs> it's just so sad, man. This is okay, I guess. No, it is not. It is okay. You know it is okay, man. No, man. You, you, know you reach the browser heart. and you pre press Ctrl D on a word, like a uh, ratio, for example. Yeah, I mean, like, if you had more words ratio, they would be selected as well, as long as you keep pressing Ctrl D. Good to know. Okay, so now we still have a problem. Okay, we think. What's this? Need to get the van. Oh, yeah, that's multiple cursors. Yes, just press yes. Uh, oh, this is also a ref. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so now this should be working fine. Uh, no, go back there. 37, how do you then do a, bang. I already forgot how to do a set. Sorry? 37, bang. You mistyped there. 37. Oh, bang. Oh, bang. Yeah, 37, bang. No, 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 but I'm wondering, I'm wondering how you, I forgot how you do sets. What or do you just set? say equal? What do you mean set, man? Assign? Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, you, it's like this. No, it's down there. Yeah. It's like this. Okay. Which is what we're using. Yeah, so we need to do a bang here. Yeah. And... Oh, you are with multiple cursors, that's why. Press Ctrl G. I did already. Okay. A bunch yeah, of them. <laughs> yeah. You, you were typing with like two things, you see? Yeah. A bunch of times, by the way. This also requires let's a bank. Hope, let's hope okay, it didn't Okay, nice! Yeah, no, I also Man, hope we didn't mess up anything at all. It doesn't seem like it. But okay, uh, let's do it. Okay, this is the 37. So what we need to do now is to just pick this. And do it a bunch more times. I a bunch more times because we have four arrows. No, we are, aren't we gonna add the buttons plus and minus? No, that is the different one. We have six the arrows to move it like in the 2D space and down and zoom. Yeah. So this is gonna be the 38, this is gonna be the 39, and this is gonna be the 40. Right, and then we need to discover which one is which. Okay, so the thirty-seven, the thirty-eight is the up arrow. 
which is uh, minus De minus the same De thing. Decrease y. Why do you decrease y? Because you need to imagine that the center is decreasing, right? The center, like imagine like a point yeah, oh, yeah, in okay. the middle of the. Center. I gotta think. I gotta think of it as like you are holding and you are like, uh, pushing something to the opposite direction. Yeah, that something that I don't understand is that it appears to me that the. Oh, it's center x and center y. The difference. Okay. No. It, no. Forget. No. Never mind. We change the center y to this. Okay. So the center y. We're gonna do this. And this is definitely wrong, by the way. This is definitely wrong. Because what we should be doing instead of this is... Like the 37 is left, right? So this should be minus. Yeah, minus. Yeah. Minus. The up, which is a 38, is center Y. And is also minus. All of them is are, are, are minus or pluses. I, I, I'm guessing the other ones will be like this. Okay, and then the 39 is right arrow, which is plus center x. 39 is plus center x, nice. And the other one needs to be plus center uh, y. Done. Okay, this should this should be fine now. So let's let's save it. Let's do this. Let's do this. And here we are. Okay, F5. Okay. okay. I'm pressing keys and nothing is happening. Can you add some print to see if we're capturing the events? That's a good call. Uh, print. Uh, new line, right? New line just prints a new line. It's an end line. It's an end line. So this is a test for the for the left arrow. Why didn't you just write left arrow? <laughs> because I was initially thinking about just printing this as a test, but then I I, I remembered that, okay maybe we're gonna have te all the tests later. Okay and go. Wait a bit. Okay. okay. All right. So it's calling the event. Try pressing another key instead. No, no. I am pressing other keys, but yeah, it's not okay. moving the thing. That's the point. Yes, I see. So should we call the redraw again? Maybe. Yeah. Maybe yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We we need to call the draw f canvas there. Oh yes, man. Go down there. But we are calling here. Yes, but we are. This is not a loop. That's the point. Oh, so maybe we need to call it every time we press yeah. it. Yes. Like here. But here is the thing. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, I don't think that's a problem. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, you gotta think of a mutable code. Uh, my my <laughs> brain doesn't work like that. And. Yeah, now nope. nothing is happening. Oh, maybe it, it takes a while. Yes, makes sense. It is okay, this thing moving. It's hard times. to say. <laughs> it's it is very it hard moving. to say. I don't know. Let's press another time. Yeah, it's redrawing. That's for sure. Yeah, but, but if the it question is, is are we? Is really wrong. Yeah, oh, it's redrawing. Mm. Interesting. Hey, what the crap? Just, it's just very slow. Maybe it's just very go, slow, yes. Go back to the code. Wait. I press one time to the left. Let's just wait. One time to the left. Oh! Moved. Yeah, but it moved it wrong. <laughs> yeah, we just invert. But uh, move again. Move again. Move again. And yeah, yeah <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Wait, left arrow minus X. 
Left arrow minus X. What the and crap? Oh, maybe how we draw the axes are different. Oh, Just add it. Oh, so this needs to be a plus. Yeah. And oh fuck me, which one is? This? <laughs> which one is which? Right, thirty nine. Okay, so this needs to be. Wait, what? Oh, thirty nine. Okay. Thirty nine. Thirty nine is a minus. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let's just do this and and call the. Probably you need to alter the other two as well. That would be also wrong. Oh, we don't have to do call the canvas four times. You can just call it at the end. Yeah, call it in the end. Yes. But um, oh, actually no, I don't think so. Because think about this: uh, if you don't call anything, you're gonna overwrite the previous call. Because well, this thing I suppose keeps calling all the time, right? And then you're gonna keep redrawing this all the time. So yeah, just draw it there. Because in any other case, it's just gonna redraw. You see? And that returns unit, so column, semicolon. Okay, let's test this for real now. And I'm thinking about not doing. Oops, I'm thinking about not doing the buttons. Just do pre key presses. It's so much easier. It is. Okay, here go. Okay, let's try. It's gonna take a while because well. But I think for the zoom, we're gonna have to store a state. Okay, left worked. Let's go to the right now. And worked up. Okay, it's inverted. Okay. Yeah, I think it forgot <laughs> to change. The okay, so yeah. this should be plus and this should be minus. minus. Yeah. Okay, let's just uh, let's just, just do the plus and the this, minus now, man. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Just yeah. add the keys. Okay, the plus you want it's one eighty seven and the minus is one eighty nine. 87 is plus, 89 is minus. Yeah, so 87. We're gonna do exactly this, but not changing. We're not gonna change the center this time around. We're gonna change the scale. Uh, okay, so I see the, the mathematics going on. Yeah, you're just dividing by half or multiplying by two. Okay. So mm -hmm. the plus is this. So what, what we want is to our do escape? Is one right now. Oh, we're yeah. just okay. do two we already times. have a parameter scale. No, zoom is the opposite. So 0 0.5. Yeah. Uh, scale. A uh, dot. <laughs> the dot and this. Yeah. And then we're going to do the same exact same thing for the 189, which is the minus. Mm -hmm. Now it's by two. Yeah. So 2.0 times this, scale this, draw the canvas, and whatever this is doing. I don't even know why you have to return it. No, it is because you also always have to return a true. That I know. Yeah, but why? Oh, now you're asking too many questions. Um, okay. Now, we, but we can remove most of this crap. Wait. Yeah. So I think these can, can move go. The button. These can all go. Yeah. So all of this can go. Yeah. Just the keyboard. I thought yeah. you had to append to something, but apparently uh, don't. Oh wait, you remove the draw as well, the canvas on the dock. Don't we need that? I don't think so. Okay. So just try. Maybe I'm super wrong though. Let's discover pretty quickly. Okay. And this go. See that. That's okay. The okay. We do have something. Okay. So let's do now control try. plus. Okay, I did control Wait. plus. I don't know what's happening. Wait a bit. <laughs> okay, no man. Oh no. <laughs> The scale, okay, makes sense because the scale is just altering the the uh, positions, but we gotta move a window. That's no, the problem. No, but this should work fine. 
because the we are changing what we are changing by the way is basically the pixel to point function which is basically this in our code it's uh, this so we're picking the scale and we are uh, by the way let me try something here uh, so control minus oh control minus I didn't press it correctly it should change back to what we was, right? No. It is so one is altering. Normal. Try both. Try now control plus. Control plus. Okay. We are back to where we started. Uh, control minus again, maybe? But no. Okay, control plus. To go back what 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 we were and come to pause again. Yeah, something is wrong. Try again, again control pause. Hmm. It is squishing it's, like. Yes, from the sides. That's very weird. Yeah, but I, I'm pretty sure. This Why is would doing... they be doing that? Is it because one axis is not changing, but the other is? Yes. No, no, wait, wait, no, that's not true. Both are changing at the same time. At least they should. At least they should. Look at this. Well, so they, this is... but I, but, but here's the thing. I think both are changing at different paces because look at the drawing, how it, it is now. Do you agree? Go back there. Where is Can you here? see this? Because here's what I think happened. Uh, the X, I'm thinking of the X as in the horizontal, okay? So, okay. I don't know if that's the X or Y, or whatever. But like the horizontal axis, I think that's uh, stretched and the Y squished. You see? Yeah, I know what well, you I mean. Well, I think they're both... So if, yeah, so I think both of them are like... Scaling in different proportions. No, but they are definitely not because I'm doing the same math. They're just using. Oh no, you systems. are not. One, you are multiplying. The other, you are dividing. Oh, this is really wrong then. Okay, this is this. Yeah, makes sense. <laughs> uh, wait, 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 wait! Isn't that multiplication instead? No, I don't think so. Actually, because depends. you're going to multiply. We are again. Whatever that yeah, because doing. yeah, because you are multiplying by like zero dot four dot five, so that's a half, right? So you want to multiply. Maybe I'm gonna see the change in the. Yeah, let's see. And go. Okay, Ooh, that's it. It is inverted no. uh, indeed. So yeah. this so... should be two point oh, and this should yeah, be. Yeah, now now things are better. Okay. No. Yeah, you could jo also just change the division there as well. I agree. We just do multiplication, right? Multiply by the scale. Here. Yeah, but that's fine. No, 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 but it is more two. readable. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, nice. Nice. We are still recording, right? Yeah. Okay, go. <sighs> okay, control plus. Oops, what huh. the heck? Okay. I think. What what is the plus? Plus Check is equals. 187. And in the 187, we are multiple. Yeah, this is this, no we. We did the opposite thing. We got the same result because I changed it twice. <laughs> we, yeah, we did. It was one, <laughs> but over. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah, okay. it was one over scale. Uh, here, here. Oh, please. We have. We're finished. Control plus. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> move, move. I want to see the another the the, the the repetition. Oh, nice. Okay. No, no, no. So let's just. Oh, let's I, I just pressed the one... wrong key. It's to the right. Okay. Right again. 
The second one I will to recompute. I'm pressing it like immediately. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Let's do a uh, a pop up that basically when it's calculating, uh, it shows a pop up. That's a good idea. But let's try to find them the the recursion first. Okay. Yeah, we're getting there. Uh, um, left. My computer is dying. Well, I understand it. Sorry. I understand it. <laughs> Man, I I think we have a problem because the the way it's uh, the 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 arrows you're not updating as we zoom in. You see? We need to adjust this. Uh, the zooms that... as we zoom in. Oh, what do you mean? They're skipping too much. Is that what you say? Wait. We are inverting this. I think we need to put the scale at the numerator now, instead of doing what we're doing. Because this, we are changing. We are using the errors. You see, oh, the right. errors are yes. taken yes, into consideration. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. I think we just need to do it like this, I guess. Yeah, it makes sense. Because if you if you keep the other way, yeah, you're gonna skip too much on the yes. the keys. Right? And that's what I was observing there. Like I, I pressed one to the one to the right, it did too much. So then this is gonna be also scale. And then this uh, scale. Um, this. Okay. So this should be working now. See, no problem. JavaScript. <laughs> Okay, so let's do a plus. Just zoom once. Okay. For the, go to the right. Okay, more. It is adapting now to the scale. Okay, that's nice. More. It's going to take a while, by the way. We should have like shift the... to the right first. Let's add the thing, man, to... No, we will. I just want to see if the recursion... Because I, I guess we're going to reach a point where the floating point approximation will be a problem. Because, like, at, at each time that we are zooming in and going to the directions, we are actually making smaller a floating smaller. point smaller or bigger. Well, we could start with the, the thing by 10 and just scale stuff. <laughs> That's a solution. <laughs> okay. We are, I, 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 oh, I did crap. I, I pressed to go to the, to the left. It is, it is to the right. And I, now we need to do, do it twice. Okay, twice. One more time. Come on, computer. It's a fucking core. Eight, 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 eight core, man. Okay. Man, these colors are beautiful. That's how much time it takes on the... On the Ryzen 9. Okay. It's a benchmark. And then plus to go a little bit deeper. More. We're getting there. We are getting there. <laughs> the floating points. Okay. Oh, dude. That's cool. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Tell me this is not cool. Oh. That's cool. Uh, zoom in the tiny things in there. Yeah, I will. If we can. Yeah. I Go one, can. Uh, one plus. Okay, I pressed. Maybe the computer shut down. Not even touching it. It's not even touching it. But okay, it's, uh, see? Uh, control minus. Oh, man. If it, if this wasn't, we could try to make it parallel later without the mutability Look at help. This. The, oh, now... I think JS. No, never mind. I think J JavaScript doesn't accept parallel stuff on the browser. Oh yeah. That... Really? That kind's kind of weird. Yeah. Yeah, it's to prevent malware, I think. Yeah, but now we can. Okay, so we can see. We can zoom in and check it out the inter the fractal now. Nice. Yeah, that's cool. 
And okay, so let's just add the pop up yes, to the, the pop up to and, show it's and centralize, centralize the the thing as well. What do you mean by centralize? Well, put it on the middle of the screen, like center. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Let's remove this what this crap. Nice. Oh, and by the way, I didn't explain how do, did I get the colors, right? I should explain that for the archive. Okay, so I did. I made these f two functions. And they are, uh, no, uh, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. I made this function and this color generator. So what this is doing, it's picking the random arithmetic operation that we were doing before, just with the uh, red value. We were doing only with the red value before. And I'm applying some Remember. like extra, extra operations because we were doing, we were adding 400 previously. And now I made this uh, list of values. Yeah. And then we are uh, using a mod operation to select an index of this, and this is being added to the counter. And we are subtracting also a random value. So I'm subtracting five in here, 80 in here, and so on and so forth. So this is how I got the crazy colors working. And yeah, that's cool. So to do the thing, I think we can make just an alert, like just alert something, an alert I think will hang the, the thing. Okay, but we're going to do this uh, inside the match, right? Yeah. Okay, so how do you do the alert? Alert, I don't think it's a good idea because that will hang the, the thing. Uh, it needs to be something that basically, we could like not draw anything on the screen. We could just draw like uh, recalculating something like this, just a a div. Okay. Throwing us. Okay, makes sense. A string. But I we think we should it. create the div outside of this event mm -hmm. here, listener. Then. Yeah. Okay, so it's gonna be like let uh, div. I don't know main div. We can say that this is an HTML div element. Okay, in. What it is, is the type function. of this? Okay, it doesn't. He's not providing me any. Oh, that's a type, I think. Okay, so let's copy the the guy. How the guy, the guy is doing? Yeah, he probably has one. Oh, create a div, and you need the document also. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is all not not indented at all. Oh crap. Maybe I, later I will indent this. Okay. So let's call this main div. Main div. Let's remove this. Uh, what this main div has? It has a text, right? Um, we have. So the something. dude is already getting text. Do you see? Where? Like txt is equals to create div. That's his div. And then he does txt, blah, blah, blah. And then you just set the value of the thing. Where is the value? Oh, one here. four four six, for example, one, four, four, the, the inner HTML. Yeah, for example, no, but this is for you the can width. set. Stuff. He's, uh, he's doing yeah, but you can set crap. dot. But you can set dot text. Oh, okay. So let's copy this. And let's say that your main div it has a dot text. It's gonna be. Uh, recalculating one, two, three, and now that I, I added this, it doesn't make sense to call this a main div anymore. It's gonna be a hang div, I guess. Uh, hang div, not div. She's okay, I guess. Why are you complaining? Then you got her. Just ignore it, man. Okay. But then you gotta remove it. Oh, you need to append, right? What do you mean? Uh, can no, you I add need to an append ID? it to the doc, yeah. Yeah, uh, but add an ID child. as well, so you can remove it later. What do I should remove? Add an ID, so you can remove this div when it finishes calculating. Oh, that's a good, a good call, by the way. Uh, let's add this. Oh, we're going to do this later. Okay. 
We're gonna do this add. No, we don't need an ID. We can just append and remove, I guess. Uh, hang div. Sure. Uh, and then after the draw, we do DOM. Do we have remove? Yeah. So doc. Yeah, but which child? Uh, hang div. Does it accept two parameters? Why is this <laughs> not accepting whatever the heck? Unbound value. You mean... Oh, it's hand. It's hang. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, this should work. But now it's complaining here. Why are you complaining, my guy? It's saying the expression has type append node blah 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 blah. Where is the text example again? Yeah, so it's a two ins. Do we have the two ins? Yeah. And then later, am I doing the same following? Yeah. And I'm yeah. adding the string. Yeah, that's super weird. That's really weird. Let's try, man. Let's try. Are you sure oh. it isn't inner HTML? Inner HTML is HTML. Oh, okay. It's not HTML. Okay, makes sense. Uh, okay, let's try. I don't think it's gonna work. That HTML oh, it worked. And an Did H I save? Yeah. No, I didn't. Okay. Yeah. Now we have a problem. Uh, so try the problem. inner. Try the inner HTML. And add, make another h1, like a create h1, see if that function exists. Let me try the compiling, let's try this. What the heck, is stringy? Okay. Okay, I have no question. <laughs> okay, so at This F5. thing is totally inconsistent, man. <laughs> okay, okay now so press a key. Go, to the go to the right, please. It's not doing whatever it's supposed to be doing. Oh! Wait, there's a problem. The canvas. You need to remove this. And you need to remove the canvas as well. What do you mean? Like, when it's calculating, you need to remove the canvas. Yeah, but I, I never attached the canvas. Oh, no, 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 no. we are so dumb. See the... Wait. Are because it will... It... Because here's the thing, it will print, it will probably add that thing to the page. But the canvas is already there from the previous right. You d do not remove that, so you barely will see, probably. Because I saw it mm. moving down. But anyway, I will add an H1 instead of the calculating, just to see if it prints a tag on the inner HMO. I will be back, I will have dinner. And done. Add, no, append, doc, a body, canvas. Let's see if this works. If it doesn't, I'm gonna be so happy. Oh, it breaks. Nice. Wait. Oh, I need to add again here. So draw canvas. Okay, move to the left. element uh, uh, I think it's CSS display none okay uh, display 
None. Okay. Yeah. So what we need, to, we what we should do is canvas. Um, view style. View style. JS string. And then here it's going to be display none. And that should be it. And then this should not be the case. Let's try this. Oh, it's because you need the context. Okay. So let's copy this. Let's add it here. Okay. And instead of this, it's going to be this. So compile. Don't work at all. Ah, interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. The field style display done. Seven. It's not doing at all. Crap. I'll get element by ID. Um, the guy is doing see this. Oh. Okay, this is what we want. And you got to an element. Okay, makes sense. You just say canvas style dot uh, display uh, none. Go here and display block. Okay, and then none. Um, and then you can do um, block here. Let's see. the context anymore here okay so now go 
here, F5. Oh, now it's even not working at all. Interesting. 87 is the... 80, 80, 80. 37, sorry. Left arrow. Yeah. It is not working indeed. Which is really, really weird. Really, really weird. It's not changing. It is not changing. Which is really, really weird. this the grip and the text is totally not here yeah let's uh, let's remove this just for now Oh, we're calculating here. Wait. This worked? What the crap? Okay, so maybe we should do the following. Here. Um and instead of removing it, instead of removing it, uh, we're just gonna do hang div style display display uh, gs string. This will be a block. And this, this will be none. Let's just see what happens. Oh, I didn't pay attention. Okay. Oh, it's already here. Um, um, mm -hmm. it's, not, it's not there. And I press it. And didn't work. How nice. Didn't work at all. It didn't work. How sad. 
How freaking sad. Um, even more to the left. Yeah. It is not. Oh, oh no, we can't change it, maybe it's this, oh no, yeah, maybe I need this, because it's immutable, right, at least it should be. Okay, let me put this, and then we say, uh, hang, hang, let's try this, immutability, nope. Didn't change anything at all. I was so certain. <laughs> Shit. I was so certain. So freaking certain. Let's see if putting as a block initially, it will at least appear. Oh, it does. Here it is. Here it freaking is. What the crap? Now, what? This doesn't make any sense. Because now it did vanish it. But if I put it to do none from the start, it doesn't work? What? Oh, they, it is here. What the crap? Why? This doesn't make any sense. <sighs> oh man, I'm gonna have to do a ref. Oh no, that sucks. Let's try immutable canvas and then do let canvas equal to ref of immutable in right and then I just need to add those like this 
Welcome back. So what? Not much progress, being honest, but well, I'm trying. What the crap? Oh, what? What happened? Not much progress, being honest. No, but I'm saying, what did you do so far? Yeah, something is really weird because yeah, this play is now blocked. What I did is that I I read the, the guy's code about about how you do the how you do the styling because I want to change with the styling. Yeah, it's not working at all. Because this is not working. Because this is what I wanted. This is what I want. Like you pick in the canvas, which by the way needs to be mutable because, well, you want to change something about it. So I, I discovered that you need to make them like refs in order to work. But the when I do this, it appears that it's just not working at all, and I don't know. I don't know why. Have you tried removing the canvas and adding it again? Yes, I already tried that, and that also didn't work. Yeah, this is this is so weird because. And there's something else that I also noticed. Do you see that the recalculating is here? It's forever none, man. Forever. Like, it's not, never changing at all. I'm going to press to the left. And the display, as you can see, is not changing. It, but this changed. And the display block, which is the, like, what we're trying to do, right? Like, when you unselect this, then the recalculating appears here. And the same goes to the, not the same, but the, uh, the canvas, the canvas itself, I can change the display of it, even, but if I write none here, it will disappear, and the calculating will be there. Like, what the crap? Like, this is not working for some reason, I don't know why. Maybe I need to read more the code of this guy. Because you, if you look at here, he's actually removing the child using a function that's being called. Maybe that's the thing. Maybe I need a function. Mm, I huh. don't think so. Why do, don't you think that? Why would you need the function? This already happened in F Sharp with me a few times, by the way. That doing in a specific place doesn't work, but calling it is in a, in a like a separate function worked. Which is really weird, but it is what it is. Let's try again then with the removing, but being mutable this time around. Maybe the dock need to be mutable? Maybe? But that doesn't make sense. Yeah, that doesn't, that doesn't make sense. Oh, I don't know. Okay, so let's try something really easy. So let's remove the canvas. Uh, let's remove the canvas. And after drawing it, let's uh, append it again. Yeah, that seems okay. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, but this that I, I'm pretty sure that that didn't work at all. Mm hmm. Now go to the left. Yeah, it's not working. And now it's done. Actually, it removed. Where? Look at the canvas. It's the last one now. Reload the page. So the canvas is the first. Keep yeah. your eye on there. Move to the left. You see? Ah. But that so it not, removed that's, that sucks. and it added again. That really sucks because it's almost like it's doing everything, everything after this computation is done. Oh man, no, wait. Oh, do that? Could it be because everything is mutable? 
All the refs are mutable, so when you change something, it already forces the calculation? No, I don't think so. Uh, try removing before you set the center. Try removing before you set the center. Okay. Yeah, let's just try that. Uh, let me see if you need anything else. And for now, let's just try simple stuff, one at a time. So all these yeah. guys, they, they can go. Okay. And it's here, moving. Yeah, did it again. Uh, yeah, the same behavior, the same thing. Yeah, it removes, but like after it already has calculated, like, dude. <laughs> Just want to make sure that we actually need to call it to redraw there because I'm not quite sure. Okay, go. So it's the reference of the old drawing that's still there. I agree. Yeah, so we need can that. okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we kind of need, like, we need to make it remove first, then calculate. It's almost like an asynchronous, I don't know, I don't know how you would call it. That's really weird. The, it seems like a reference loss, because you, you have the old... What's this? No way. Well, this is the just the rendering. The canvas is an element, yeah, yeah so we know. should be able I... to remove it. Uh, I be. don't know now, man. Doesn't make sense at all. I, yeah, I don't know. I don't have any theories. I do have one. I don't have an, a theory, but I have an alternative. We can make... We can make... We can make a function called make uh, canvas empty and that function will pick a canvas which is an HTML uh, canvas element GST and we'll just do the following we'll do let this and then that same thing as before right so canvas this yeah but this is not removing by itself it's just making it white so yeah <laughs> which uh... is oh it's valid actually no it's not because we want because the area will still be occupied right <sighs> And there's another problem. We don't know how to make the recalculating sentence appear at all. We just don't have that. Hmm. This is really complicated. Why the heck this is so complicated? Yeah. I vote for just asking Nata. He probably knows something. I all agree with you that we should ask Nata. Yeah, just roll back to the way it was. Okay. Yeah, so the way it was uh, is changing this to a canvas, back to a canvas. Remove these guys. And that's it. Oh, yeah. I uh, just removed the. Oh, press. Um, uh, yes. Nice. <laughs> now, control, control, yeah, you see? That's pretty cool. Uh, okay, let's see if this is still doing its thing. Okay, F5. Okay, here it is. So move to the right. Oh, yeah. It's working. Okay, that's it. We're done. Finally. <laughs> <I wouldn't... laughs>
<laughs> like it's it can get away sad from it. That is jank as AF, but okay. I just I just feel like the worst part is being slow, but that's not really it's but more of a could, problem of rendering, it, right? man, Because if you really think about it, we don't have a dependency. Like a pixel doesn't depend on, on each other. So we could make this in parallel or concurrent. Yeah, but the problem is making that with the code all mutable like that would be hell. So I, I think it's better to just rewrite that later with like uh, pipes and such. Yeah, but then the question becomes, can we do this in a... Uh, um, yeah, but in JS, I don't know if that's gonna actually do something. No, it doesn't, the JS doesn't matter, man. Because the JS is just the drawing part. It's just this. All the calculation is okay. So, yeah, but it, it is still compiling, it's transpiling all this garbage to JS. Not Ocamo anymore. You're just compiling the code to JS. Oh, you think that if you change this, we're gonna have a problem yeah, with... Yeah, it's not only... It's not... Yeah, you're thinking of like, oh, okay, so it's like compiling and then throwing the 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 code to to a JS file, right? Yeah, at the end of the day, yes. Yeah, so it's just transpiling. It's actually all these calculations they are being calculated in JS. Yeah, but not doing JS, we would require require like a graphical library for the the Campbell part. And well, I don't know if Anatan knows anything about that, but he insisted that the the browser would be easier. He insisted that. Yeah, but let's try to it's speculate in the final few mi in the final in the final thing where we are already past two, two hours. But let's try to imagine how the immutable version of this would look like. Because I'm starting to think that this would be really hard in, in, a, in yeah, I think so. mutable way. But we would have to make it recursive. Oh yeah, no, the floors would definitely be recursion. Uh, or... Oh, uh, this could be a tail actually, recursive recursion, by the way. Or the not, we could would just be the map. Image. Yeah, we could just map, actually. We could generate the points, map. Not generate the points, just fill the things and map that's yeah, also the map function would be all of this and then yeah, the map you can make in parallel but i as i said like i don't think we are leveraging being parallel because about js hmm. like i don't think you can make multi-threaded javascript on the browser i know the node allows you to do that on the server side but not on the like literal front end side. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's uh, let's finish today. So bye.